What's up, guys? This is your boy, DZD, a.k.a. The Drain Gang, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. All the support that you guys are showing the channel. Thanks so much for that. I got a quick video for you guys today. I have broken down pretty much every aspect of beat making, but I haven't touched on percussion elements. So that's what I'm going to be talking to you guys about today. Percussion sounds are very important when it comes down to getting a rhythm going in your beat. And sometimes if you don't have your percussion sounds down right, then the beat can lose a lot of rhythm and it can take a very nice beat and bring it down a level to a beat that doesn't sound so good. So in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks on how to get your percussion sounds to stay nice, stay rhythmic, so you can get nice movement to your beats. What I'm gonna do first is compose a quick beat using a sample. We're gonna drop a few elements on it and then I'm gonna show you these percussion techniques. Before we jump into it though, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button if this is your first time with us and make sure you also hit that bell notification. That way you don't miss out on the videos that I'm gonna be bringing just like this one. Without saying too much, let's jump into this tutorial. Let's do it. All right guys, I kinda got the loop pulled up right here and this loop, is it has a nostalgic type of feel really really mellow and chill it's warped a bit and it's also kind of lo-fi so check it out i'm gonna let you hear it Already you know the vibe that I'm going for. I want to go for a nice chill mellow type vibe, but I still want to give it like a nice type of bounce, you know, some type of rhythm. So let's get started with it. First of all, you know how I do. I'm going to try and tune it or pitch it some type of way. So let's see if I can if I can get a different sound out of it. Up 2 sounds really, really good. I kind of like the tempo of it now, but I want to time stretch it to make sure it fits a nice BPM. Let's go to process. We're going to go to time stretch. I'm going to put this in 32 beats. Okay, it's picking up 157.15. Let's change that to 153. Throw it down just a tad. Let's go to chop, and then we're going to chop this by regions. Let's go shift, convert, and then do it. Now we have that on a program. We're going to change this to track two and put the sample on track two. And then we're going to set our BPM to 153. All right, let's see if we can come up with a pattern. Right now, if you notice in the sample, it has a lot of resonant frequencies. So we're going to boost one of these frequencies and we're going to hunt for those resonant frequencies and kind of dip them out a little bit. We dip that out that way. Um, more things that we add to the beat don't pile on this particular frequency right here and then we can't get that out when the mix time comes. There are also a few clicks and pops in the sample so I'm going to go to program edit up here. We're going to select all of the pads right here that way we affect all of them and then we're going to go over here to the amp envelope and we're going to raise the attack up just a little bit. And then we're going we're gonna to raise the decay up as well. That way it smooths out the beginning of the sample chops and it also smooths out the ending of the sample chops.
listen to it without. I'm going to take that off. And then we're going to put them back. All right, I got this really, really nice glass piano that's pulled up in Omnisphere. It's the airy glass. Then when you put it in chords, it sounds like that. And it's going to blend really, really good with the samples. this other instrument in Omnisphere and it's just a nice little dreamy kind of piano so this is what that sounds like all right now that we have that done let's see if we can come up with a melody something that we can kind of add in here with the notes so I'm literally just gonna freestyle something with this pad perform I kind of like that right there. Now I'm going to show you guys very quickly how I build a percussion groove. I got a few drums that's pulled up um, and they're just percussion sounds. So these are like two rim shots. And then I have two um, perk sounds. This is just for me to come up with a rhythm so I can kind of get a feel for how I want the drums to go. I'll lay a few percussion instruments down, but it's a, it's a particular way that I lay the percussion down. That way I have the rhythm of the beat. When, what I do is I start with one sound first. So let's start with this sound right here first. So I'm going to lay that down to give me like a vibe of the beat. I want a vibe first so I'll know where the other percussion sounds can go. So just check out how this goes. I'm going to lay this first sound down first, just very simple. Okay, now if you look at these sounds here, I have a lot of space in between these sounds. I have this entire space right here. I have this entire space right here. I have a little bit of space here. I have this big space right here. I have this big space right here. So the name of my percussion game is called Put Them Where They Ain't. So I'm going to put the percussion sounds where these notes are not playing. So that's what I mean by I have space. I have space to drop some more sounds here. I have space to drop some more sounds here. Space to drop them here. Space to drop them here. So that's how I get the vibe that you guys hear in my percussion patterns. I just put the notes where the other notes aren't. And I watch the grid and I go it on and lay this down. Kind of see what I mean. I put my percussion sounds here where these notes are not. I put these two here in this space here. I put this one in between these two. I put these two in between these notes here. I put these two in between these notes here and one right in between these notes here. So it kind of starts to give my beat 
a little bit of a bouncy type of vibe because I have these sounds going from different places to different places and they're not all playing at the same time. But that's the vibe that I kind of get with my percussion and I make sure that I put these notes in places that they aren't. Now, sometimes they will fall in the same spot. Just depending on how you work your percussion patterns, they will fall in the same spot. And that's okay, you know, but you just can't have all of them playing at the same time. Just try and, and, and shift the notes around to different spots to where each percussion sound has its own place. So I'm going to lay down this one more percussion sound right here. Let's do that. did is I added these triplet hi-hats right here you know again like I said they may fall where where, where some notes are but you still want to stick them in spots to where they kind of they kind of aren't in the spots of your other notes so I got them right here you know I have them right here as well if you notice one of them falls here I have this one right here one of them falls here with the other note so remember the name of the concept is to put them where they ain't that's it check out how this sounds so far actually hear the rhythm in the beat you can actually hear it when i listen to beats from people the beats sound nice the melodies sound nice and the 808 is knocking it's just that the beat is missing some type of rhythm to it and that's exactly what percussion is for is to give the beat a certain type of rhythm if things are hitting here and things are hitting there it starts to give it that type of rhythm to where you even start to move in that fashion you see what i'm saying so if your beat is just following a kick a clap and some type of bass instrument, then it still has a rhythm, but the rhythm becomes a monotonous. It keeps going, it keeps going, and it just becomes plain. But the percussion gives it another different type of rhythm that lays within that original rhythm. So that's what percussion is for. So just keep that in mind, and I guarantee your beats will start to have that type of rhythmic feel, and yet you'll get a lot of high energy out of your beats. Keep this technique in mind. It's a very simple way to give your beats rhythm, to back up your beats with an undenying rhythm that lays within your main rhythm of the beat, which is your kick, your clap, and your bass. So, hope you guys got something from this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and also drop me a comment below. I really appreciate it. The value that I try and give you guys with these videos, the content, all that good stuff like that. It's things that I actually use in my music production. If you get any value from it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Thanks so much. This is the Kid DZD, aka The Drink Gang, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. And I will check you guys in the next video. Peace out.